Hi everyone, um, so I'm finally back with another flip through and this is all about England <laughs> which if you asked me a year and a half ago before coronavirus or anything like that if I would do one I would say no because I thought England was boring and you know it's my home country so obviously I see it every day and I just didn't think but now that it's all that we can do it's surprising how many places I want to visit now and um, how much I like sort of documenting it so anyway so i decided to make a book of our adventures so these are like 2020 adventures because we've been very restricted um so obviously we couldn't do too much but we made the most of the year and obviously we tried to see a bit more of our local area as well as some other places so yeah so this is just a normal 12 by 12 um scrapbook that came from the range and it was originally going to be my life scrapbook for 2020, but I didn't want the format anymore. I didn't want the 12 by 12. So I ripped out those pages and made this into my England scrapbook. So just the front cover. This is just a page from a paper pad that came from B&M. Um, and I just thought it was really nice. I mean, it could be any part of the UK, but I just thought it's nice for England. Um, just because it does look like where I actually live. Um, in Yorkshire so it's yeah it's a nice photo and then at the top there that is from I think it's Sticko yeah I think it's Sticko um, and it's just like an England header which is nice but I haven't finished I want to do some bits and pieces around it and things but this was just a, a quick um, cover anyway so the first page um, we went to York um, of the day um, I work in York actually well I did before I started working from home um, so to be fair I probably took advantage of it but it's such a nice town and I really enjoy going to York we always like to go out there for meals and for drinks and stuff it's got some nice quirky little places um, so yeah I just thought we'd go really um, just you spend the day as like a tourist almost um, so just move the camera down um, so yeah, so we, we just had a wander around and we went to the Shambles, which is the famous little market area. It's got all these like nice Tudor houses and they're all sort of awkwardly put, you know, they're falling over and everything. So it's just, it's a really nice um, walk and nice little quirky shops. And yeah, I've used up some bits and pieces and I realised I was going to use up a lot more stuff. Once I realised I wanted to do an England scrapbook and also a life scrapbook, suddenly my like stash was just getting wiped out because I was doing so much scrapbooking but I don't mind obviously that's what they're there for and um, so yeah so I used really cute um like a color scheme like a gold and brown um color scheme for this page and there's just some more photos of the shambles the nice little shopping street And these are just some more pictures of York. Um, so this is the Minster, um, that obviously is absolutely massive and is like the highlight of the city, really. And then the York Castle. This is just a postcard um, of the York Wall. So that's the Minster in the background. This is the walls that you can walk all the way around. And my office, where I used to work, used to be just over there. So hopefully we'll be going back at some point this year. Um, so I do like going to York and as I said spending the day there and stuff and this was a cute little squirrel that was just in the park when we were there so and then we visited a place called Kirkstall Abbey which is near Leeds and um I've never been there and as I said it was um we had nothing else to do because obviously we were <laughs> in lockdown so we couldn't go abroad and things like that so instead we made the most of our local area so we went to Kirkstall Abbey and it's completely free we just got the, the train there and um, we got the train to Kirkstall Forge and then we walked along the canals to the abbey itself and this is the abbey here and then this is just a leaflet of the abbey which I can't open so yeah it's just a leaflet and this is just some pictures as well of the abbey it was really nice as I said it was free and we just had to wander around and you know before coronavirus I wouldn't have thought to go there but it's just nice to appreciate things on your doorstep 
So then we went to Hebden Bridge for the day um, because my boyfriend's grandma lives in Hebden Bridge. Um, so we went there to meet our friends for lunch and also to see Joe's grandma. The Hebden Bridge is really lovely. It's a really quirky little place. Um, I didn't get too many photos, but I absolutely loved um, seeing the swans and the geese and the ducks and everything um, all along the canal. So I took some pictures of the ducks and the geese and stuff. Um, yeah, and then this is the view from Joe's grandma's house. And it's really, really nice. She lives on right on top of the hill, so you can sort of see the whole area. And this is just the high street that we were walking down. I love these thickers. These came from Hobbycraft, but they're obviously thickers. Um, but they're really old, but I've had them for years and I finally got to use them. And then we went down to London um, because I actually left my suitcase. <laughs> when I went down to see my parents, um, I left my suitcase on the train um, and I thought it had gone forever. But about three weeks later, they contacted me and told me that they found it. So I had to go pick it up from London. Um, so we made the trek down to um London Euston I think it was um to get the suitcase back did I say no might be Euston or it could be London Bridge either way but I had to go down to London and we just made the day of it it's about two hours from London um to where we live so it's not too bad a journey so we went to Borough Market which was really nice it's just under London Bridge Station um, and it's just filled with all sorts so you've got obviously the fruit and veg and then you've got like food like takeaway food and stuff so we got some um arancini balls which are like italian and we absolutely love them and you don't really get them much really because they're not like a you know unless you go to a proper italian restaurant you don't really get them um so yes we just had some nice time walking around at borough market and taking some photos and i you know i really like this page because i actually messed up on this page i stuck the I worked, I, this piece of paper in the background, I didn't stick it in before working on it, so I worked on it and then I stuck it in and then realised I worked on it upside, uh, the wrong way around. So it's actually longer than it should be <laughs> and shorter along here, so I've had to use the washi tape to try and cover that. But it's fine, um, you know, we make mistakes and stuff, but I really like the page. I use the Simple Stories um, Oh, apron strings, apron strings for this page just because I thought the black and white really suited it. So some more pictures of what we did in London. Went down to Tower Bridge and we um, just had a wander around really. Um, it's just nice to sort of just be a tourist really. Sometimes you forget to be a tourist in your own sort of town and your own country. Um, and I've been to London many, many times but you don't, I think you just until you want to document it you don't really appreciate it maybe um so yeah i was like set on making sure i got enough photos to be able to put it in the scrapbook and stuff um so yeah so we went to tower bridge got some nice pictures of the, the phone booths as obviously the most famous thing um and i got a nice postcard as well and i've never actually been on tower bridge so it's just nice to do something different um and these are just some pictures of the city as well so obviously got the city of london statues that sit on the bridges um you know some really nice pictures of the buildings this is shard so yes yeah, so i just enjoyed doing this page and i used the tube map in the background as the well yeah the background and these cute little crowns these are from jolie's boutique and um, so i was happy to use those and then we had a day um to haworth which is a really really cute little village in yorkshire um it's actually close, well it is, it's where the Bronte sisters um, lived. So that's why it's quite famous and a lot of people that enjoy literature and the English language and poetry and everything like that, they come to Haworth really because as I said, this the Bronte sisters lived. Um, so it's quite famous but it's such a nice little town. So this is the famous little train station and I just put the map, you can get like a, um, like a scenic rail journey from Keighley to Oxenhope. And it stops at Haworth. Um, but we would like to do that one day. But we were just there in Haworth for the day. So we just got some nice pictures of the station. And then this is this, the town. So it's real like cobbled streets. And nice little artwork on the building. And yeah, it was quite busy. Um, we had some nice food and a pub. 
Then we just walked around the town. We, we weren't, was going to get ice cream, but we were just too full for my lunch. We had Sunday lunch there, so yeah, it was really nice. I really enjoyed it. Again, not never been there before. And then we went to Pickering, um, still in September time. And Pickering was where Joe basically used to go on holiday all the time with his family. So he was excited to sort of take me there, which was really cute. Um, it wasn't the greatest of days. It was really windy, but we still enjoyed it. Joe showed me um, this this statue thing here is like a bomb memorial thing. And it just he said they that's how they remembered it when they were kids and stuff. So he was just really cute to show me that. And he was really excited to sort of go back to a childhood memory. Um, but yeah, so this is just the high street. This is like a little market that was going on down the high street. Um, and then we went up to the castle. We didn't go inside the castle. We just walked around it. And then we went to the um, train station, which is actually another famous train station, but they had all the steam engines and stuff. So it was cool to see that. Again, we didn't go on the trains or anything. We were just there to see the trains and walk through the station. So we did that, um, which was really fun. And then we made our way onto Whitby. Um, and I haven't finished doing the journey in this yet, but we went to Whitby for the afternoon. Again, the weather wasn't great, um, but we still enjoyed ourselves and I'd never been to Whitby before. So it was just nice to see somewhere different. And to be honest, it reminded me of my hometown down south because it had like all the, obviously the, the seaside and it had like the amusement parks and, you know, the little quirky little like sea themed shops and all them sort of things. And obviously the seagulls and stuff. So it just reminded me of my hometown down south so that was nice um but yeah so i just got some nice postcards of there and pictures and then it's just us when we walked along the um like down to the lighthouse and the boardwalk sort of thing and then this is just the receipts from where we had lunch And then in October, I believe it was October, maybe September still, I'm not sure. Um, we actually went to Berwick-upon-Tweed, which is the, the most northerly English town before you go into Scotland. Um, and it's so nice. Like, again, I don't know why we've not been there before. We get free travel up there, so we didn't even have to pay for that. It was just, I don't know why we've not been. So it was just a really nice journey. Um, it's really scenic and it doesn't take that long. I think it's about two and a bit hours um, from our house. So it's not that long. Um, but we had some really cool um, like shots of the bridge. So, so you come in via this bridge. That's where all the gantries are, um, where the trains come in. And then obviously you can walk along the, the river underneath it and you get some really, really good photos and stuff. So I really enjoyed doing that. Um, and then we walked all the way along. We've got some really good pictures of the you know, the riverbeds and stuff. Um, there's cute little cows and stuff. So yeah, we had a really nice day. And then we also went on the other side of Berwick and went to the seaside sort of area. This is where like a lot of the holiday parks are because it, it's got really nice water. I've never seen water that clear for England really. Um, so it was really nice to walk along. Again, the weather wasn't like brilliant, but it wasn't cold. So we still had a wander. Uh, we didn't go right down to the sea um, but we just walked down to the steps and got some nice photos and just walked along the grass area. This was like a golf course. So we just walked along there. And then we walked down to the lighthouse. Um, and it was just so nice. Like the water was so calm. It looked like a mirror. Um, and we just, yeah, we just enjoyed walking around. There were so many flies though. Like not like big flies, just like midges. And it was so annoying. But it was just nice just to wander along and I really enjoyed going to Berwick and I do want to go back because I'd like to um, go see more of the castle and the, like, the fortresses. So we will go back and I said it's free for us to go up there so might as well. And I really like the collection I use. I use the P13 Beyond the Sea Beyond the Sea, yeah, collection for this and I absolutely loved it. Again I've not finished the uh, journaling on okay, here so I'll have to do that soon. So then we went for a little mini break up north um, for the weekend um, because we were supposed to go to Wales, but then Wales went into lockdown. So we had to change our booking um, rather than we weren't going to cancel because, you know, we want to still want to go away. But we ended up stay, staying in England. Um, but we went up to, where did we go? Wooler. We went up to Northumberland. Um, 
for the weekend and we borrowed Joe's dad's car because our car wasn't up to it basically our car would have broken down so we borrowed Joe's dad's car for it and actually by borrowing his car we ended up buying a new car a couple of weeks later because we realized that we would actually want to drive a bit further um in the future so we thought a new car would probably benefit us so on the way up we went up obviously up north even further and we stopped off at the Angel of the North because when I was looking at the sat nav, I saw that it was there and I was like, oh, we're so close to it. I've never seen it like properly. So uh, we st we pulled over and we actually got to go to it. I didn't think you could actually go that close to it. I thought it was on top of a hill that was like off bounds or, you know, not allowed to go to it. But actually you can walk right up to it. It's quite creepy, to be honest. It's absolutely massive. And it's just a little bit creepy because it's like a metal man. Um it's cool we got to see it and as i said it's quite famous everyone sort of knows it up north people can see it every day um so it's just yeah another thing to see um and then on our way to our like holiday park as such we um stopped at chillingham castle and i really wanted to go here because it's meant to be the most haunted castle in england and i'm not too sure how i stand on ghosts i'm not like a big you know, I'm not like really into it, but it doesn't intrigue me. So I, I was really looking forward to going here. So we paid, I think it was like ten pound each, to go to Chillingham Castle, and it was really cool. We were, it was very quiet. We were one of the first people there, and uh, yeah, we just had a wander around. I really liked. I was able to use a lot of my Halloween stuff and like this paper I've had probably for about seven years. So I was just really excited to use that. And then this is just some pictures of the gardens. They're these lovely, like, typical English gardens out the back of the castle. So we had to wander around there. And then this is, like, the inside of the castle. So it's just, uh, yeah, it's a typical sort of English Tudor, you know, creepy castle, really. Um, but it was amazing because it was so old and it had so many big rooms and then, like, like little nooks and crannies and stuff. So... It was really cool to wander around, and these are our tickets to get in. And this is cool. This was um, in one of the rooms. They basically had like a mantelpiece with all these bits and pieces. And I was reading the letters, and basically the the people that were writing these letters saying they they took something from the castle. So this person took some heather, um, some flowers. This person took a ring and um, someone even took like a, just some photos or something like that. And they said that they were they had immensely bad, immensely, immense bad luck. Um, and so they returned everything and they call it the curse of the Spanish, Spanish witch. Um, so that was quite interesting, but it made me a bit worried because I took so many photos. <laughs> so I was hoping that, you know, I haven't had bad luck so far, but I don't think I have. Um, it's just interesting to read whether it's actually real or not i don't know but there was loads of different writing and you know all these different things so it's just interesting and then this is just some photos of when we were um driving from chillingham castle to our village of Woola, um, and it was just so pretty like it was just there was nothing there it was just fields and fields and sheep and fields so it was just really pretty i you know i got joe to pull over so many times because i was just wanting to get so many photos then we arrived at our, it's like, it's not a campsite, it's a leisure park. Um, so obviously they're filled with like caravans and um, like holiday homes. And it's got like a restaurant, it's got a lake, it's got all sorts. Um, and we've never stayed on one of these things before. We've never done anything like this before. So we were really pleasantly surprised. We definitely do it again. Um, we're not like majorly social people, majorly, majorly socially socialised people on holiday. We don't tend to make friends or anything like that we were just happy to keep ourselves to ourselves but it was just nice to go and do something different um so we got given this big map um of how to get from a to b because as you can see there's so many it was so big um so this is like the entrance here and then this is our little like static home um so that's where we used to go and that's how we found our way um but we walked all the way along we walked around to the fly fishing lake and it was just really cute. I just really enjoyed it because they had all these like ducks and baby little ducks, all like little chicks and stuff like that all around. And we had bunnies and hedgehogs and rabbits and I said bunnies, but you know, all sorts of animals all outside all the time. 
So this is our little static home that we stayed in. And it was so cute. Like As I said, I've never stayed in anything like that before. But it was so cosy and it was so warm. And it was just nice. And, you know, there was these nice little, well, this nice big lake. All these ducks sat around. So, yeah, it was really cute. So this is like the inside of our little static home thing, caravan. Um, and, yeah, it was just really nice. It had a nice big living room, a TV and, um, you know, a a heater like a electric fire that was so cozy uh, we just had one day that was absolutely pouring it down the whole day so it was just nice to have the heater on and not have to pay for it um we had like this nice kitchen area we had two bedrooms uh, so this is just joe chilling out in front of the fire and the tv and it was just really nice like it's just nice to get away from the house and not coronavirus because obviously it was still going on but we were allowed to do a little bit more at this point so it was just nice to sort of feel like you're away from home so this is just when we went into the town of Woola Woola is a really really small town there's only a few restaurants uh, there's not that much to do but again we was only there for a weekend so we didn't have you know we didn't have to find loads of things, loads of things to do um, but we made the point of going to um, Doddington's it's not Doddington's yeah it's Doddington's Doddington's Dairy Milk Bar which is this so this leaflet is here and it's just this little like shed area um but because of coronavirus they just would selling like takeaway and stuff so we got some really nice ice cream i got i literally got the um milk chocolate and mint one and i think joe got the chocolate one and it was just it was just so nice it was nice to uh have proper ice cream um and then this is just a receipt from when we went to dinner at a really nice uh, Italian restaurant and the first day that we were there we just had a wander around um, Woola and just sort of enjoyed like the local area really because I don't think we could have checked into our like accommodation until later on so we just had a wander around Woola um, and yeah we just wandered around these like woods area we got a little bit lost but we followed these paths and there was a lot of sheep and they're always in the way so it was just cool to so I'll take a picture of those and then the second day we were there it absolutely was just pouring down with rain the whole day um, but we made the most of it um, and we went for a walk in the Northumberland National Park um, and it was just really nice we were literally the only people out and about because we're obviously the only people that are crazy enough to actually go out in the rain um, but as I said we were making the most of it otherwise we would have just been sat around and you know you can do that anywhere so there's only a bit of rain so these are just the, the the signposts there so it's the college valley that we were walking around and this is the route that we were following so these are just pictures of us when we started the walk uh, this is like the instructions so i was basically reading these instructions to make sure we didn't you know get lost because as i said we were literally the only people there we had no phone signal or anything so we had to be pretty careful with how long we was out for um, and then this is just a map of the Northumberland National Park so this was like the first part of the walk that we did uh, we came across like this little church which was very random it was right in the middle of nowhere and it had like a memorial for some of the the war airmen that obviously flew during the second world war so that was quite cool Joe's into that sort of thing so it was cool to see that And then these are just some pictures of us in the wilderness. <laughs> we're absolutely soaked at this point. Um, but we're still, you know, adamant that we're going to carry on. Um, so it was just nice to be out. And we were just talking and just enjoying, you know, just having a laugh, really, to be honest. As I said, it's not, it wasn't a great year. So it was just nice to relax a little bit. And this was coming to the end of our walk. So this was just Joe and the, the last sort of hurdle <laughs> and then we found this cute little frog um which he let me he actually let me stroke him which was really strange um but yeah and then this is me just absolutely soaked in the car uh we were just so looking forward to getting into like warm clothes and yeah it was just it was good we really enjoyed it but we went to the pub for some lunch and then we watched a film and just snuggled for the rest of the evening really which is just nice it's just nice to do and then on Sunday, we drove to Bamburgh, 
which is where the famous Bamber Castle is. And we were so I was so excited to do this because again, it's somewhere that I'd never thought about going. And suddenly, you know, I read about it and I was like, oh my god, I really want to go here. So we had a really good time. We went to Bamber Castle. We had reservations to get there. Um, and it was really, it wasn't too far from us. About a twenty minute drive, so that was good. Um, but yeah, the weather was really nice this day. So after the whole day of rain, the sun came out, which was really good. Um, so this is just like a map in the background of Bamber Castle. And this is like a, a paperclip that down. But this is just an information booklet about the castle as well. And it's just a picture of the insides. And then once we finished Hunter Wonder in the castle, we went around on the grounds and we went down to the beach. And it was like proper sand as well, which is you don't really get much in England. There's a, quite a few places, but not. They're all scattered around. Um, so it's just nice to go down on the beach and just had a wander and that's what Joe really wanted to do Joe wanted to go down to the beach and have a wander so that's what we did but yeah we had a really nice time and then we wandered literally all across the beach and it was funny because one way you have brilliant sunshine and the next it was like grey and we're like oh god it's gonna rain again but no it was really nice to walk along there was a load of people in there and the sound just the tide was really out so you could walk quite far down to the sea and there was loads of seashells and crabs and all that sort of stuff so it was really cool and then this is just when we were walking along the rocks we were trying to find some like sea life like pretty shells or you know crabs or anything like that but we didn't see anything in these rocks but it was just nice to wander around and you know I love this photo of all the like seaweed and the rocks and then the castle in the background And then we went to go see my family, I think it was Halloween, yeah, 31st of October, so Halloween weekend, we went down to see my family, um, and I went to Rye, we just wanted something to do really, so we went to um, Rye, which is quite close to where I live, well, where I used to live down south, and I wanted to go to Mermaid Street, which is this really cute street in Rye, um, it's just got all these really nice buildings, and yeah, it's just like a, a pretty street that you walk down basically. And then this is just another picture, well, two pictures of Rye as well. So I really wanted to do a bit more, but the weather really wasn't nice. It was raining again all day, um, so we weren't out for long. But hopefully in the summer this year we can go do a bit more. I don't think Joe came with me this time, so it'd be nice if, you know, Joe could come down as well and see it. Because I don't know if he's seen Rye. And then the last thing we did before we went into lockdown was we went to Knaresborough, which is back up north. Um, and there's a really nice um, place to go in the summer. It's really lovely because you can get like boats on the river and stuff. Um, but we went in the winter time, so it's absolutely freezing. Uh, but it's just nice. It's a really old fashioned sort of town, really. Um, and I think if I was to move, I would like to live in Knaresborough. But it's a bit out of the way at the moment for where I work and stuff. Um, but it's lovely. So we just had a wander around the the lake well river that's what you call it um and then we went up to the castle and these the benches were really cool i don't think you can see this but they were like serpent um like with like the poppies and stuff um but yeah and then yeah we had a really nice view of the town and the the bridge i think it's called but yeah, so the train goes across this and it just looks really cool, really like it. Um, and then we just got a hot chocolate and we went home. So yeah, so these are just some bits and pieces that we got up to last year when we couldn't go abroad. Um, and I filled it, but that's only because, as I said, I had to rip out some pages because it started off as my life scrapbook. But then I decided not to do it in this book, so I ripped out a lot of pages. But So it's a bit, well, I say thinner, it's still really chunky, but it's a bit thinner than my other ones. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I'm sure I'll be back soon with another one. Um, since Nairsborough we haven't actually been anywhere because we've been in lockdown pretty much since Christmas. Um, so hopefully now that restrictions are lifting we'll be able to go a few more places. But yeah, so thank you. Bye.